Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to some Demon King battle farming, bro. It's been a minute since I did anything concerning this dude, but yeah. I was very, very lucky and I pulled Baldi. Yeah, I didn't expect it because I was actually going to skip him. And we picked him up on tickets, which was crazy. So, putting him to use, he actually upgraded my team quite a bit. Like, it sped up the run by a few minutes for me just by having him. For his kit, I actually don't have any anvil, so the top pieces is just going to be like some C pieces. And what you're going to be mainly trying to focus build him with is main defense. HP not really going to matter for this fight, so you can run C pieces on the bottom as well. His link, I don't have like a great Mael really built out. So, Sariel on defense as well. I just took like Tarmiel's gear and put it on Sariel, and it works. We're going to be using the God Characteristic card set. The other card set, it feels like the damage is a little bit lacking, but with this one, it feels like it's way, way better, especially for this fight. The second team is going to be the Sins team for me, but the Sins team, like, I never swapped to any team. I just main melee with green Gother and Kizna, and that's all I used. I never really used the counter team. I just used that team. I'll clear both phases with melee. And I'm not running Kizna because I'm not sure, like, if most people will have... The damage there if they just run kizna so i'm gonna run like the escanor variant first and i'll show you like the kizna variant after but pretty much the same setup for since nothing too special defense food is what i'm running as well mainly for baldi's like first turn but this is gonna be very very fast farming also i would say i don't have the bam team because i know bam also has a speed farming team with albedo I do not have that team because I can't build that team. So I can't really show it or compare it to that team. So for me, this is my fastest farming team. But for those who actually have that team, give me a comparison. Like how well does this stack up to that team? Is it slower? And by how much slower is it as compared to the BAM team? How this is going to basically go is Baldi's going to counter in first turn when he hits you. Get him to about close to like 50% HP. And on your first turn, you get his stance up. And hopefully, we will be able to kill phase one. His defense is kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, on first turn, 123,000 is crazy, my dude. So, yeah. He is going to be hard carrying on phase one, which I actually love. Like, just getting him for me was a huge improvement for my last team. Saves me, like at least like three minutes i think per run now and it literally cuts down on quite a bit of rng too so for me i don't really need to focus any other team but this and it's always going to be like a minimal like four to five minute clear for me every single time now and i can do with two different teams so for me i find like this is such a great help and from there it should be just like you fill out the two the two trials that he puts forward for you and for like normal rules what i tend to do is probably focus to get maybe two rules in as long as i get two of his like his requirements i think we're good and i actually do it here just to show it because i could actually fill out three here for the most part if you know how to like play your cards right you can like get together three rules every single time but i'm actually only gonna do two so i'm gonna let him hit me to show you like there's no threat of you dying. Even if you don't get all three of his like challenges done, you're not in like a threat of dying. You still you're still pretty much gonna be fine regardless. But it is possible to do most of his like trials. So yeah, we're not gonna be doing the level three. If I wanted to, I'd rank up Gother in the first turn. I'll have the the rank three and the rank two in my hand already, but we're not gonna do it. So we're actually gonna tank hits. To show you, like, there's no threat of you dying, even if you do just two rolls. And all you need to do is basically get him down, which is very easy because you have Escanor in the team as a another DPS. So it's very, very easy. Because Melee's card, Escanor's card is going to be your play and probably go through attack. So, like, you remove his ult. And by now, if he has a stance up, it's an easy remove with melee. So yeah. Once you throw that melee card, Escon is just gonna like pummel through it. And any other card is basically DPS just to get like the full bar of HP completely down.
just two trials actions and he removes his immortality and it's just like you can kill with anyone at that point if your team gets wiped even at that point is over because anyone could kill because he's at zero hp very very easy very quick too this for me is my fast three team because as most people don't know i actually do not have bam so this helps me a lot so yeah this is finally like my time The second team, basically the same thing. The only difference is I am using Kizna. Kizna has always been in my farming team for a very, very long time. Because for me, I find it easy. She complements the rule very nicely. She has a buff. She gives the attack related stats, which is needed for a rule in here as well. And like when you ult, you just do more damage. So it like she complements the team very, very well. It's pretty much the same thing, but for rules, she makes it a little bit easier so you can complete like the level three, level two, way, way easier. And especially like if you have Gother in here and you get like a media rank up, it's very easy to get the rules completed with all three. So yeah, phase one, pretty much the same thing. Baldi is going to take care of it perfectly. Like there should not be any problems with this. Because I don't have cosmetics anything as well, if y'all did not know. Yeah, he's just one six pure, just free to play cosmetics. I just gave him some basic gear, nothing crazy. The defense is like 14s on both. And some R pieces. R pieces could go for... Yeah, I think I said that already, right? But R pieces could go for like the HPs as well. Like here, you need 2-2-3. Two, two, very, very easy rule to get through. Because Gotha ranks up. Kizna ranks up herself when you hit. It's very, very easy. That's why I said like Kizna in here enables like some of these rules to be done very easily. Like, being able to control where you put your rank 2s and 3s with this team, it's so much easier with this team. The only problem is, is level 1s can sometimes be a problem if you don't, like, play properly and you have Gotha's rank up instead of, like, his attack card ranked up. So that's the only thing. A rank 1 play might be out of the question sometimes, but for the most part, you should be able to complete all three rules almost every single time with this team. Well, that's what I see. Melee does way more damage. You don't really need to worry about, like, popping an extra card as well. If you play properly. Yeah, very easy kill. But as I said, some people might not have the same experience as me. So that's why I showed the Escanor team first. So if you're missing some DPS... That Eskinor is like the fix if you can't do this. And at this point, it's just like you do any rule, even one rule here, and you're pretty much good because you just need to remove the immortality and it's an easy clear. It's a very, very fast clear and it's very consistent. Since I've run this, I've ran this a few times with both of these teams and I don't think I've lost once. I have never reset it either. It's very consistent. And fast. Baldi makes this so easy for me, bro. This is going to be so fast for me to farm now. Because normally, like, when I have to farm, I got to reset for certain rules and stuff. And I do not like it. So this helps a lot with the farming process I'm going to have to go through. So, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.